What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best phones under $500 in 2021. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. For all you folks looking to save a few dollars and still get a quality product, we say check out the Moto G Play, the best budget phone under $500 available on the market in 2021. Moto G Play sports several quite interesting points, such as a removable battery or highly optimized hardware great for everyday use. The device comes with a 6.5 inch HD plus panel a 20 to 9 LCD that hides a 5000 mAh internal battery with a standard 10 volt charge. This is more than enough for most users, especially considering the price tag. The phone offers basic connectivity options, such as 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or USB Type-C port, and the manufacturer also points out that this model does not have an NFC chip for payments, despite having a rear fingerprint reader. Under the hood, we find the Snapdragon 460 processor along with internal memory and a micro SD card slot. The device comes with Android 10 and also has a dual rear camera of 13 megapixels and 2 megapixels for depth reading, and on the front, 5 megapixels for selfies, which is quite acceptable. Users will be able to take high definition photos and get amazing results. Also included in the mix is the ultra fast focus, so you won't miss a thing. Apart from the phone itself, the package includes the charger, unlocked 32GB memory, a SIM tool, a USB cable, as well as a user guide. This budget device is available in blue and has the size of 6.97 by 3.54 by 1.81 inches, as well as a weight of a single pound. With this, we've rounded up all the key features and advantages of this product, so now we can move on to the next phone. If you are an Android fan, we say look no further than the Samsung Galaxy A52, also known as the best Android phone under $500 that can be found on the market in 2021. The Samsung Galaxy A52 packs all the key improvements and is in many ways a better phone than its predecessor. Let's start with the Samsung A52. We are looking at a high refresh rate of 90Hz, which means that the animations are displayed smoothly. This will make the A52 feel faster and you'll notice it especially when you're browsing or browsing the web. The A52 screen is 6.5 inches and has a full HD resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels, just like its predecessor. That's why everything looks clean and sharp, which is great if you watch a lot of videos or like to play video games. On the top side is a small hole for a 32 megapixel selfie camera. The screen is also covered with narrow frames, although with the Samsung Galaxy A51 they were thinner. Furthermore, the screen is much bigger than this model's predecessor, a great addition in case the day is sunny or you're using the phone outdoors. You will have no problem reading the screen. Another nice feature is that this Samsung model is IP67 certified. This means that the device is resistant to dust and water. As a result, the A52 endures heavy rain and will not even break if dropped into a container of water. We rarely see a waterproof case in this price range and we love it. Under the hood of the new Samsung A52 is a Snapdragon 720G processor with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The performance is top notch, apps run smoothly, multitasking is not an issue, and you can also play games. Samsung has also improved the cameras, another great addition. The main camera now has a resolution of 64 megapixels instead of 48 megapixels as in last year's Galaxy A51. Also included in the mix is optical image stabilization, once again a feature that we don't often see in this price range. The Samsung Galaxy A52 battery has a capacity of 4500mAh and lasts quite a while. With normal use, you can easily reach the end of the day, even if you're an intense smartphone user. If when buying a phone with the emphasis on the battery charge, we say check out the Moto G Power, also known as the best battery life phone under $500 that can be found on the market in 2021. The latest edition of the Moto G Power does not disappoint. 
In a variety of tests, the battery lasted an average of 14 hours and 4 minutes, which means that you can spend the day and probably longer without the need to charge the phone. The device also sports a 3.5mm headphone jack on top of the phone, so you won't have to buy a pair of wireless headphones to make your new phone functional. This model proves that you don't have to spend a load of money to get a phone that produces exceptional photos, which puts pressure on cheaper devices like the Moto G series to improve the gaming camera. Motorola has responded by turning to a more powerful lens with this year's version of the Moto G Power. You have a 48 megapixel camera compared to the primary 16 gigabyte arrow on last year's phone. A 2 megapixel macro lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor join the main camera. Similarly, the Moto G Power depth sensor produces beautiful portraits for a phone under $300. Even the cheapest phones now offer photo functionality in low light, and the Moto G Power is no exception with its night vision mode. The results are successful, even if they are a bit below the standard set by Google Night Sight. The 6.6-inch LCD screen that Motorola uses for the G Power screen is certainly big enough, but don't expect vivid colors or a bright display. In the majority of tests, Moto G Power reproduced 96% of the sRGB color spectrum in saturated mode, you won't take the Moto G Power if you want the latest and greatest processor, and the Snapdragon 662 chipset that powers the phone is certainly adequate for most tasks. Most users have never had a problem jumping between apps, streaming videos, and even playing demanding games. For a listed price, this is killer stuff. For all you Apple fans, we say check out the Apple iPhone SE. In our opinion, the company's best phone under $500 that can be found on the market in 2021. Apple wisely used the case of the latest iPhone with a 16 to 9 screen and touch ID button, which many still adore. This means that the iPhone SE does not look like the phones we've become accustomed to in the last 2 to 3 years. Above the screen, you'll find a slot of headphones or speakers, a 7 megapixel selfie camera, and sensors. On the left side is the mute switch and the volume control buttons. And on the right is the power button with a tray for one nano SIM. The back is covered with flat glass, from which only slightly protrudes around only one camera with LED flash. Wireless charging also works through the glass back. iPhone SE comes with a waterproof certificate you will not find in the Android camp, the IP67 that guarantees protection against water penetration at a depth of up to 3 feet for up to 30 minutes. The screen is a 4.7-inch IPS LCD with a resolution of 750 by 1334 with 326 ppi. The format is old school 16 to 9, Apple's True Tone panel that intelligently adjusts the display depending on the ambiance. Of course, the sharpness of the display cannot be measured with modern AMOLED panels in full HD Plus and QHD Plus resolutions. And the refresh rate of 60Hz also does not follow today's modern 90 and even 120Hz screens. Despite this, it is a beautiful screen, which will be exactly what they were looking for for the target audience. The iPhone SE has one camera on the front and one at the back. On the front is a 7 megapixel selfie cam with 1080p video, and on the back is a 12 megapixel model with OIS, PDAF autofocus, and 4K 60fps video. One of the biggest controversies regarding this phone is its battery capacity of just over 1800 mAh, or less than half of what Android offers in this price segment and even cheaper. Of course, the power never depended only on battery size. Apple has managed to secure one-day autonomy here again for the target audience, I'd say. Tests have scored between 4 and 5 hours of on-screen time every day without any problems. Good stuff. Finally, we present you the Google Pixel 4a, also known as the best overall phone under $500 that can be found on the market in 2021. This new affordable phone comes in only one size. It is a compact device with a 5.8 inch display. This reduces the overall size, making this one of the smaller devices we've seen lately. There's a 3.5mm headphone jack for those who want that legacy connection, but the two speakers also offer a powerful stereo output, perfect for providing audio for your YouTube viewing or casual gaming and loud enough for personal use. Google uses an OLED panel of excellent quality, offers deep blacks and plenty of vibrancy, and adds color. Great display and packaging in full HD plus resolution, which at this size works with 443 pixels per inch. This is a good value for any size, so there is plenty of detail. To put this in context, this phone is about the same size as the iPhone SE, but you get an inch more screen space with a higher resolution. There has been a lot of talk about faster refresh rates on screens, but the Pixel 4a comes with a standard 60Hz screen, but for most users that will be quite enough. This screen also supports high dynamic range 
and will help your Netflix content shine. The Pixel 4a sits on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G platform, certainly a step further than the 1600 series Pixel 3a hardware. Despite its small size, the Pixel 4a has no problem running games like Call of Duty Mobile on high settings, offering a fluid gaming experience enhanced by the stereo speakers. But even so, with light, standard use, you'll get a full day of use. Overall, this fella delivers premium performance and high durability at the best possible price quality ratio. You wanted the best, you got it. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.